Brookline residents and officials are currently debating whether the town should rename the Devotion School, one of Brookline's largest K-8 schools. The school is currently named after Edward Devotion, a slaveholder who donated land to the town where the school was later built more than 100 years following his death. Brookline's debate reflects a nationwide conversation about racism and facing our history of slavery. Brookline residents Deborah Brown and Ann Greenwald filed a warrant article for the May 2018 town meeting proposing that the school's name be changed. Devotion's name started with slave, and to keep that name today says something very sad, very horrible about this. I think changing the name is it's almost like a form of restorative justice. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it is a tangible, it is a real act that says a lot about this community, but also how people should perceive of themselves as members of this community. We want a safe place for all children to go to school with honor and dignity. <clears throat> we don't want an institution that sanctions racism. We owe it to our children to have integrity and consistency in demonstrating our values in our actions. In the months leading up to the town meeting, members of Brookline School Committee and a newly formed ad hoc task force have been meeting to discuss and further investigate this issue. Residents on all sides have been showing up to the public meetings to voice their opinions and concerns. This is an opportunity to make a positive step towards racial justice in Brookline and be the town that we say we are. <laughs> We should use every tool in our toolbox to remedy the wrongs of the nation's past, address the legacy of discrimination, become aware of the unconscious myths that still inform us. Does Brookline value tradition over justice? What does that say about the town? Completely against erasing history, but I do not believe that remembering history requires honoring. If Hitler walked in here with like $100,000 and was like, I got your land, would you name something after that guy? Some members of the public have expressed mixed feelings about the issue, while others have taken a strong position against the renaming. I'm still conflicted because I don't want to forget. You know, I, I don't want to, to not have that reminder that we have this part of our history and it's important to face that history and to know that we are absolutely an imperfect town. It's about the individual. It's not about what, what, what people did back then. It's about the individual. The individual was good. He gave money to the town. We don't know how he treated a slave, but the assumption is if he's an upstanding person, he probably, most likely, he, he, he did right by a slave. People who gave significant value to the town, we put a name on it. The process for changing Devotion's name could be a lengthy one. Brookline's bylaws give town meeting the power to name public facilities. Additionally, a naming committee is responsible for recommending names for Brookline's public facilities. Leading up to town meeting, the school committee would make a recommendation to the naming committee based on what would ideally be a collaborative community process to select a new name. If the town determines that the name should be changed at the 2018 meeting, it could take several months for a new name to be selected and approved in accordance with the town's naming criteria. We spoke with David Pollock, Brookline's school committee chair, to gain more insight into this process. Everybody on the school committee is pleased that we've put together the ad hoc task force with, it's really a, a, a very powerful group of citizens who are historians, who are, um, you know, sort of a broad spectrum of representation of our community, that this task force is going to look into this question more deeply, look into the history more deeply, and then bring back to us their, their uh, what they find. The first question before us is really, um, should we reopen the school at 345 Harvard Street as the Edward Devotion School, or should it have a different name? And I think uh, the school committee feels that uh, we should answer that question first and separately. And then once we've decided whether the name continues to be appropriate or we decide that it isn't and we need a different name, then we'll go on to figure out how to best find a name. So I think people are very excited about being an inclusionary process. I think people are very excited about including students in the process. I, I think the right next steps are to, if it is the 
ultimately the decision of town meeting that the name should change than to to have a real community process and find a name that that um, Brookline can really rally around and embrace and feel good about as um, as uh, an identity for our kids and for our community. It's really important. At Brookline's annual town meeting held in May 2018, Warrant Article Number 23, which deals with the renaming issue of Devotion School, will be addressed. For Brookline Interactive Group, this is Shannon Ortali.